All right, Epic Games. So, Epic Games Store has officially launched, and they're hitting the ground running, going straight for the throat of Steam and Valve, and it's pretty fucking scary to look at, because here, here's essentially what's going down. Epic Games has launched essentially a Steam replacement, kind of in the vein of uh, Origin or Uplay, a lot, a lot of those wannabe Steam clones. And a lot of the time when it's Origin or Uplay, they, they tend to still publish games on Steam and they still tend to essentially just do their own thing, kind of just be in the background and clog up your computer startup because it always wants to flash up and take up all your fucking time. Well, Epic Games is being a lot more in your face about what's going on because if anyone has been following the Epic Games debacle, kind of the whole shit show as it's been going on, they've been signing a lot of exclusivity deals with games. And it's not even first party type games. Like, you know, if it was just Fortnite, that would make sense. Because Epic Games owns Fortnite. They made it. So it would make sense why that would be a first party exclusive on their launcher. No, I'm talking about shit like Metro Exodus. A game made by 4A Games. Who got fucked over by their publisher. Who signed an exclusivity deal out of nowhere with Epic Games. Almost like, what, a fucking month or three weeks before the game even launched? And that's not even talking about shit like, uh, God, what was the name? I want to say it was like Project Point something. But essentially it was a um, an XCOM type game. It was made by one of the original developers of XCOM UFO Defense. And this game was actually backed on Kickstarter. It was a Kickstarter project, completely independent. A lot of people were fucking hyped over this. It was uh, going to be on consoles. It was going to have a Steam release. It's going to be all this. Well, literally out of nowhere, they sign an exclusivity deal with Epic. Out of nowhere. Their backers had no fucking clue. And people were demanding refunds. And the company that made the game came out and literally said, we could refund all of our backers' money and we'd still have a profit at the end of the year. Because essentially what's going on is... Epic is throwing money around. It's throwing the Fortnite V-Bucks anywhere they can essentially target. And they're going to be buying up all these new exclusive deals just to get people to essentially artificially inflate their numbers. Because here's the thing. Now a lot of people, they, they don't really like Steam, but they tolerate it. Because you know, Steam does have issues. I think a lot of the issues end up being overblown, and I think it's whining for the sake of no reason but there are issues there are actual problems with uh, uh, users having issues with refunds or there's actually talks where developers want to pressure steam into getting rid of user reviews because they don't want negative press about their games which to me that's yeah that's not good and the thing is steam has problems but when you compare it to epic Right now, it is a million times better. I mean, Steam is just all around a better choice. It's been around longer. People are more familiar with it. Do you understand that? Right. Me, not you, not you, but me. Every day. They don't have to worry about jumping onto this new platform, especially with all the skeezy rumors and the way people have been acting about it, which I'm going to get into that right now. Basically, the reason people don't trust Epic is because Epic is doing everything it can to not be trusted. Okay, I mean, EA is more overtly evil. People make the choice to just shake the hand of the devil when they go with Origin. They know what they're getting into. I mean, it, it, it's hard not to feel EA's like evil tendrils wrap around you when you try to play one of their games, even if it's one of their good ones. Epic are not as overtly evil, but they're definitely shifty. Because when you look at some of the shit that's been going on with the Epic Game Store, and especially with how they've kind of talked about Valve and Steam, it gets a little weird. Because, okay, to my knowledge, the uh, the CEO of Epic Games, to my knowledge he's the CEO, I don't know if he's just a PR person or the actual CEO, I, I can't for the life of me remember. But essentially, one of the top guys at Epic, did an interview where he was talking about Epic's approach to games and the game store 
he did a press event, some kind of interview and some kind of uh, PR thing where the guy came out and was overtly attacking Steam and was overtly saying shit like, oh, we don't allow crappy games on our platform and we're not in the porn business. We're not there to allow hateful games on our platform. Obviously referencing shit like hatred and rape day and all those controversies because if anyone remembers hatred was a massive shit show when it was coming out even though it was overblown and nothing it was an edgy wannabe postal and rape day was literally a cheap visual novel some dude made in basically 30 minutes and uploaded onto steam for quick cash that's all they were but people freaked out over them and, you know, the asset flip thing where some guy gets a pack off Unity and stitches together a zombie game for $2 and somehow you can't just ignore that and go to the very obviously AAA looking games. I mean, it, it's one of those things where I fucking hate that argument. I, I ranted about that a lot during the Rape Day video. Essentially, stop asking Steam to do the job for you and just not look at shitty games. There are plenty of really good ones on Steam. The problem with epic is they came out and overtly attacked steam a lot of people definitely had the inkling and the suspicion that epic was trying to target steam with the fact that they were buying up exclusive uh, deals with games that were pretty hyped up for steam i mean metro exodus was a pretty hyped up title uh the outer worlds that obsidian game that's just coming out was a pretty hyped up title and out of nowhere it just announced an exclusivity deal with Steam. Same thing with that uh, Project Point game, the XCOM type one I talked about earlier. All these games were hyped up. People were excited for them. Out of nowhere, these studios signed deals with Epic. More than likely because Epic made them offers they couldn't refuse. They have plenty of money to throw around. They have Fortnite, and that's the big thing right now. So, the, the big thing with Epic that's weirding me out isn't so much that studios are going to them it's when you look at kind of the deal epic has with them they they are promising a bigger cut than steam and obviously they're more than likely getting fat checks even before then where they're like hey if you sign on with our game we'll give your studio a hundred million dollars you know that shit like that you just kind of take that's just part and parcel of business but the weird thing is just kind of the media around epic game store where you know, when, when you look at the uh, the interview from the CEO, he had these quotes come out where it's like, we're not in the porn game business, and we're not uh, allowing crappy games on Epic. Very obviously taking shots at Valve and Steam with the fact that you can, you could, at one point for the waifu holocaust, get Eroji games on Steam. And, uh, you know, you have the asset flip games. And, and it's just weird seeing Epic try to take this high road over Valve when it's like, Dude, you do know your program has been accused of spyware, right? I mean, one of your, one of the owners of Epic is a company by the name of Tencent, a Chinese company which is notorious for selling user data to the Chinese government. Yeah, that's not really some shit you trust, and it doesn't even have to be said out of any kind of James Bond style conspiracy where it's like, ooh, the Chinese government's getting people's information to use it against them. It can simply do be due to the fact that. Maybe you don't like people snooping around in your private computer data. And not even just that, just the fact that I've seen this weird shilling of Epic. It hasn't been everywhere. It definitely has not been everywhere. But it's there. There was an article that came out that uh, had the headline of Metro Exodus sold 25 times more than Metro Last Light. And it's the most misleading headline ever because, one, it was talking about OG Last Light. As in, the version that came out on fucking 360 and PS3 never even included Metro Last Light Redux, the HD remaster, which sold pretty gangbusters because the Reduxes came out in anticipation for Exodus, and the newest book came out, Metro was starting to become a popular series. And sure, Exodus sold a lot, that's because it was literally the only other option. I mean, people begrudgingly bought Exodus. They didn't enthusiastically by Exodus unless they're on consoles but you know they they don't count they don't they're not involved with that and the biggest problem is the fact that you even have people like fucking Jim Sterling which okay I, I don't like Jim Sterling and I suspect after the next <laughs> few weeks as this situation envelops a lot more people are gonna be popular about that in regards to that opinion but 
Jim Sterling made a video called Screw Steam where he essentially went through and talked about how, oh, Steam is just full of these asset flip games, and oh, why is it that all these great games are buried under all these terrible ones, and oh, you don't want to be, you don't want developers looking at games like School Shooter or Aid Simulator and thinking, yeah, it's a good idea to put my game there. But Epic, on the other hand, has all these features. He literally turns a rant against Steam into an a commercial for Epic. So I welcome the Epic Store, is what I'm saying here, and I don't blame a single studio for choosing it over Steam anymore, because when one service keeps making headlines for all the exclusives it's getting, and another service keeps making headlines for games about school shootings and sexual assault, where would you rather sell your product? And this, folks, is why it's a marketing issue and not a free speech one. And this is not probably going to be the best thing to say, because this is kind of getting this little, little bit of an accusation, but I don't think it's that crazy to assume Jim Sterling probably got a check from Epic. I mean, I know everyone can say, oh, of course you, of course you accuse him of taking money from Epic Games. Well, think about it, okay? Epic is just trying to get off the ground. It has all this money thanks to Fortnite. It knows how to exploit controversy against Steam and prop itself up. And there are plenty of media figures willing to sell their soul for a few bucks. Games journalism doesn't pay that much. And everyone can say, well, he makes enough money off his Patreon. There's never enough money. <laughs> that's, that's how greed and corruption works. You know who to give money to because they always want more. That's what it comes down to. It doesn't matter if Jim has enough, he wants more. And obviously, I can't prove whether or not Jim actually was sponsored by Epic or had any kind of check from Epic. All I'm saying is... He made this video right before the spyware rumors came out. And all of this shit happening in one week where it's people actually using the Epic Game Launcher and seeing that you actually have fucking timed queues, literally waiting queues just to get into the fucking store. Like, like so, so bad. That is so terrible. You have to get into a queue to use the fucking store. Are you fucking kidding me? How, how does that work? I mean, is it really that bad? Epic has all this money, all these resources, and they couldn't get a decent launcher out? I, I don't exactly have much sympathy there, because it's like, one could do it and do it good, and sure, Valve had some growing pains with Steam, but you never had people talk about how you had waiting queues or hey, Valve signed an exclusivity deal out of nowhere that prevented this other option from being used. It's just fucking sleazy. I don't know, I guess just too many red flags are going off in my head in regards to Epic. And Epic is extremely aggressive with how they're doing things and extremely cutthroat in a lot of ways because when you do the things they're doing, they're not incredibly terrible. They have every right to have timed exclusives. And really, they're timed exclusives. They wear off after a year. And you can still get the games on console. The problem is just the fact that the first year is the most important for any video game. And not only that, but it knows that it can put the nail in Valve's foot that way. They don't have to worry about comparing their sales to Steam. They've already crippled Valve. They only have the one option, and that's epic and i guarantee you people are probably gonna make burner accounts just to get the games they want off epic and they're never gonna touch anything else but even then they can just constantly throw shit at steam until people feel ashamed enough to move over to epic you know with that porn comment and the whole uh comment of we don't allow crappy games i i, I get the feeling epic's gonna go on the assault very soon and just really start bashing steam and that's where another suspicion of mine is actually going to start making the rounds and all that. In that, I think we're going to start seeing some key people at Epic out of nowhere start getting harassed and death threats. And I really mean this, because here's essentially what's going to happen. Epic Games is going to receive a lot of shit, a lot of backlash for these game exclusivities, which... They've already been, but with the fact that they keep stacking on top of each other, on top of the spyware rumors, on top of the attacks against Steam, I think we're gonna really start seeing people just say fuck you to Epic. And rightfully so, they have every right not to get it. And honestly, this is kind of a point where 
something I mentioned in an earlier video could come up. I'm not saying piracy, all I'm saying is Pirate Bay. And essentially, we're going to see more of a push to piracy against these exclusivity games. Now, I think that's a healthy reaction, because if you genuinely do not like Epic, tell them to go fuck themselves. Would the companies that have nothing to do with it be punished? Yes, I do feel bad for 4A games, but at the same time, there's really not much else you can do, because either you sign on with Epic, meaning you're just blindly going into the fucking meat grinder all the while you're bitching about it, or just don't buy the game, or buy the game on console. Either way, PC people don't like either of those options. And really, my big problem with what's going to happen is I can see it coming almost immediately. Like, the minute this starts happening, I can kind of see what's going to happen in that people that work at Epic are going to start whining about being harassed and bullied by Steam fans, and then we're going to see articles coming up about how PC gamers are super elitist and the PC master race culture is so toxic. We're going to see people get into mindless arguments about whether or not it's a good thing to, ha to hate a company that is doing everything it can not to be trusted. But no, you shouldn't hate them because actual people work in those companies, and if you don't like a company, you're, you're saying that you want every single low-level employee to be fired and hungry and cold and sleeping in the rain all the fucking time. Which obviously no one actually supports, but they gotta make a straw man, they gotta make you worry more about defending yourself than going after the shit that matters. And honestly, it's just gonna come to a head until people realize that I think it's just shitty. But by the time people realize it, they'll have enough of an audience and enough of a cash flow and enough people put enough money into it that they think, well, I can't just abandon it now. People need to realize that they just need to ignore Epic. Don't allow it to have money. Just don't feed the beast. But obviously saying that is futile. People are going to give Epic money and they're going to use the store because they think, well, I like this feature or that feature. It's like, hey... If you genuinely like Epic, if you genuinely like the store, that's one thing. If you're begrudgingly using it because you think, hey, maybe it'll get better eventually, all I can say is, dude, pull out now. You're not going to have any better of a time in five years than right now. And that's the shit that kind of pisses me off. It's the fact that people are just kind of either saying, oh, I'm not going to buy it, which more than likely they probably will. Or they're just saying, well, we don't have any other option. Once again, piracy. Don't begrudgingly accept. Don't betray your morals. If you want the game, pirate the fucking game. I, I know that's calling for piracy, which some people have really strong feelings about. All I can say is, it's, it's your option to protest. If you want the game but don't want to give Epic money, there you go. If you trust Epic and think, well, it'll get better eventually, they're just trying to get off their feet, that's one thing. You're putting your money in expecting a better result. You know what you're doing. I don't agree with it, but I'm not going to stop you there. Other than that, all I can really say is Epic is not doing anything to show that this is a good idea to jump into. I mean, everything about this is creepy, weird, kind of sleazy, kind of pathetic, and I can already see key people at Epic whining about being harassed and They'll start making hot political takes to get people against them, and then they'll run to their journalist friends. And the journalist friends will write op-eds about how Steam is so horrible, but Epic isn't that bad. You have Jim Sterling already making a fucking shill video for it, which, on the upside, his fans roasted his ass over that. I kind of like the fact that even Jim Sterling fans were starting to go, dude, this is not a hill to die on. But all in all, all I can say is this is something to watch out for. This is not something to trust. This is not a good idea to jump into. If you don't trust Epic, don't even risk it. That's my advice. Don't even risk using Epic. Just fucking do something else. Do something else. Play different games. Pirate your games. I'm going to get yelled at by YouTube for that. Because like, you're not allowed to tell people to, you know, make choices on what programs they download. But even then, it's like, dude... The only people that tell you not to pirate and you have to buy it to have the right to complain are fucking corporate sheeps anyway. I mean, that's all it comes down to. If you genuinely don't want to give something money, just don't give it fucking money. And that's that's the philosophy with Epic. Just don't give Epic money. <laughs> so, that's all I can really say. 
All I will say is if anything else happens and, you know, the, the epic shit continues to devolve, all I can really point you to are other YouTubers talk about it because this is just kind of my main rant about it because, like I said, I, I kind of already see the path coming, so I don't, I, it would feel kind of redundant to start commenting on shit I already predicted, like, hey, yeah, this, this epic CEO's had to, uh, had to lock some Twitter accounts down because trolls were harassing them to suicide. It's like, yep, called it. They're, they're already playing the victim. Or, you know, shit like that. In fact, I've already seen signs of it. Just as another little quick quick aside here where I've seen people complain about the, the connection to Tencent, which is the Chinese company that owns Epic. You know, the, the one that sells your user data to the Chinese government. People point out that, hey, that's kind of creepy and weird. We don't really trust that. And I've seen a few people go, well, of course we'd see some uh, some racists talk about how Chinese people own video games. It's like, no, dude, it, it's the fact that Tencent's a notorious company that's sleazy as fuck. And the Republic of China is not really that keen on the privacy of its people. And if the government's not keen on privacy, hackers are even less so. So, I mean... <laughs> It's not too hard to see how you don't really trust one person that doesn't trust you, and how that can lead into another situation which ends with you getting buttfucked. It, it, it's not racist to call out a sleazy company for being sleazy. I'm getting that ahead, I'm, I'm getting that out while we still have time. Because I guarantee you, you're gonna see a journalist write an article about how the gamers calling out Tencent, which is uh, the owner Epic, is secretly dog whistling to the alt right and all that shit. Don't 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 even pay attention to that shit. Let let that crap starve. I'm actually amazed game developers are so insulated they genuinely think what the journalists say matters. It's like not the customers screaming in your fucking comment section. No, just turn off those comments, even though that's your actual customer base. Yeah, fuck it. Who cares? Point is, don't use Epic, don't trust Epic. If you genuinely wanna see what Epic does, give it five years. I actually mean that. Five years. That sounds like a long time, but that's the point. We might not even know if Epic's gonna be alive in two years. Because here's the thing, it could crash so hard that they close the store. And would you really want to put money into a store that out of nowhere dies? And guess what? You don't really know if Epic will actually let you keep the games you have. Steam has some DRM, but you can play those games offline. They are yours. GOG is really good in that they just give you a fucking download launcher, you download it to your system. <laughs> you have that game forever. It's never going away because it's on your system, it's yours. Epic, we don't even have that guarantee, it just came out. So who knows? All I say is really, really, really walk with caution. Epic right now is a fucking minefield. So that's it. That's all. Good night.